All right, today we're gonna to talk about Outlet Tester and GFCI Tester. This is the tool that I use the most during a home inspection. There's many outlets in the house. You stick this in, the lights will come on in different combinations and it will tell you what's going on with the wiring. I made it big so you could see it. So what do the lights mean? Well, here's your standard modern wiring. The black is the hot, the white is the neutral, and the bare copper is the ground. When they're in the outlet, you have Gold screw, black wire, white wire, silver screw, gold, uh, green screw, copper. So this would be coming in with two yellows. Obviously, it's not plugged in, but that would be two yellows. That would be correct. The most common one that I see is open ground. That means that your grounding wire is not connected or you have an older house with two prong wiring, maybe an oven tube. So you got to get that fixed. Open neutral means that your neutral is open, nothing's connected to it. That would come out with one light, one yellow. Open hot will be no lights, no power, or there's a switch, could be a switched outlet. You never wanna see red, that means that something is in reverse. Hot ground reverse is gonna be the two outside lights. That means that the hot and the ground are flipped. So the black is on the ground and the ground is on the black that needs to be fixed hot neutral reversed is called reverse polarity that means that the black and the white are on the wrong sides those need to get flipped around so now let's talk about GFCI's so when you have GFCI I have a GFCI here you stick it in the outlet you hit the button it's going to pop off the reset button or it should for safety they're wired in pretty much the same, a little bit different, but green, gold, silver. So it'll give you the same combinations of lights. You can have regular outlets connected in to GFCIs, and that's the good thing about this tester is you can test the regular outlets to make sure that they are tied in to a GFCI. Let me go show you in the kitchen. Here in the kitchen, we have a regular outlet right here, GFCI outlet over there. They both should be GFCI because we're near the sink. So we're just gonna test it by popping it off. That reset button resets. And we are good to go. Sometimes when you test these regular looking ones, like in new construction, it'll reset down in the main panel. Let me show you that. All right, so in this main panel, we have two GFCI resets. There's an older one right there. There's a newer one right there. So that's what it looks like when it's tripped. We'll turn it back on. Now it's back on. This one's a little bit different. Oh, that's my pool. Let's turn it on first. Off and back on. So just make sure that you're careful when you are hitting off these reset buttons. You want it to be quiet because you might not know where the reset is. Sometimes you can hear it if it's in the same room. It's scary when you hit one of these off and you don't hear anything, but the lights go out and then you'll be looking around for GFCI reset forever, sometimes. Because um, they can be in different rooms. They could be outside. They could be in the basement, in the panel. They could be anywhere. So good luck.